So the San Antonio Spurs are a team that basically they're a team that dominates the regular season but can't do much in the postseason at this point in their team's stance per se because Tony Parker is trying to do too much and I mean Kawhi Leonard is pretty much the lone star I mean he's not a lone star there's a pretty solid supporting cast in terms of young talent like Kyle Anderson and Danny Green and some of their young players like DeJounte Murray but the problem is that the Spurs are not they're not athletic enough to keep up with teams like they would probably get bounced around by the Minnesota Timberwolves with their athleticism in the first round should they face them and so this is a video it was inspired by Dom 2k and a funky diabetic and so I just wanted to take a look and see what would happen if the Spurs were to go with the blow up sort of path you know sort of blow up the team slowly but surely and you know try and get some young talent on this roster and so the first move that I ended up doing and it was a move that was discussed in real life before LaMarcus Aldridge came out and said that he loves San Antonio it was about a deal centered around LaMarcus Aldridge and Marquise Chris and so I ended up giving the Spurs Brandon Knight as well and giving the Suns a player that I've never heard of to balance out the trade and so that was the first move I think it benefits both sides because LaMarcus Aldridge gives the Suns some scoring and a veteran presence to go along with their young players that are looking to develop and the Spurs get a point guard an assortment of point guards he can play off of Kawhi Leonard and he can do some scoring to take the pressure off of Kawhi Leonard because Tony Parker I mean if Pop were to do a trade like this he's definitely not gonna bring Brandon Knight off the bench because they traded for him to be a starter and while Brandon Knight isn't particularly good defensively Danny Green and Kawhi Leonard can pick up the slack on defense because I mean they can do it with Tony Parker as well as Patty Mills so they can definitely do it now especially in Pop's system and so I did this move I did this video and it's not because I mean I follow Arios on Twitter and so he's always talking about and to put it lightly he he is not a Tony Parker fan at this stage of Tony Parker's career because he's trying to do too much and uh, he's just lost a lot of his athleticism and so I did this move because I, I don't think that anything like this would happen in real life just because the Spurs would not really they don't really make moves in the regular season that are sizable and they don't even really make moves in the regular season at all to be honest to be quite frank but if they were to do something like this this is sort of my educated guess but I definitely think that Tony Parker is gonna stay on the Spurs for his entire career just because I mean he's left the sort of legacy and I mean if Pop is gonna put him in the starting lineup then he's not trading him <laughs> alright so that's sort of my best educated guess but I didn't make this video because of Arios I made this video because I had so when LaMarcus Aldridge was sort of in the trade discussion and it was a rumor out there that he is unhappy in San Antonio even though it wasn't I mean that's not the case he came out it was before he came out and said that he loves San Antonio and denied the trade rumors it was when he was all this talk that maybe LaMarcus Aldridge could be traded a funky diabetic made a video but it was specifically to so it was specifically because I saw a video I was notified about a video from Kai Buckets or K Buckets my bad bro but check him out because he made a video on this and you know I said maybe the Spurs can go with a rebuild route and you know he kind of had a bit of a contradiction right there but you know I think that it could be a sort of interesting path for the Spurs because they don't have much talent I mean they don't have the athleticism to keep up with other teams and I mean if they face a team like the Timberwolves who I would suspect to be defensively polished because right now their offensive polish is looking a lot better because Andrew Wiggins his scoring ability is looking better Zach Levine's scoring ability is looking better I mean the Timberwolves are just looking just terrific <laughs> but uh, I think they'll be able to bounce a team like the Spurs around in the first round because Carl Anthony Towns is going to eat on Pau Gasol and LaMarcus Aldridge and Chris Dunn can eat on Tony Parker so if something like this were to happen you know this is just my educated guess I don't think anything like this would happen but if the Spurs were to go a rebuild route what would this or you know if they were to go with a quote unquote blow up the team route then I mean I just wanted to see how it would happen or I mean how what 
would turn out from teams and so I also did another move like you guys saw early on trading for Willie Colley Stein giving up Patty Mills and a lottery protected future first round pick and you know I think this because the Kings were looking at moving Willie Colley Stein and you know he can provide some defense and some athleticism for the Spurs which is what they would need and you know a guy that can put up a fight against some of the other athleticism the opposing teams that are more athletic and you know are just better and are younger and can get it done and so the Spurs now looking a little bit better a little bit more young transitioning into sort of Kawhi Leonard the Kawhi Leonard era and they made the playoffs as a third seed winning 53 games they went up three to nothing on the Pelicans but the Pelicans they win they went back and they came overcame the deficit they came back from being down three games to nothing and Anthony Davis is just a beast I mean it just shows how much of a beast Anthony Davis is but now instead of a bunch of old older talent and a bunch of sort of players that are in their later stages of their career sort of having the tail end of their career sort of washed up if you will this could be a bit better for them honestly because it even though they would probably get eliminated in the first round or in the second round they could still have something to build off of moving forward with Kawhi Leonard Kyle Anderson um, DeJounte Murray Brandon Knight Danny Green you know they have some talent to build around and you know I don't think this would happen just because pop I I mean the Spurs don't make moves in the regular season period not even if it's minimal I mean they don't typically do it even if it's minimal but if something like this were to happen this is sort of my educated guess on what would happen Spurs stockpile the point guards and then end up trading one of them away typically or ideally it would probably maybe not ideally but reasonably they would probably trade Patty Mills just because I don't see them ever letting go of Tony Parker until he decides to leave or until he retires and so Brandon Knight going on the Spurs I mean they get a little bit fish they get quicker and they get younger so you know I think this would be sort of the way that the Spurs would go and you know I think this would be a good thing for them they end up losing to the Pelicans in the first round to Anthony Davis who just beasted and feasted on the Spurs and brought his team back to be swept by the Rockets in the second round and for the Warriors to be champions over the Toronto Raptors and <laughs> that was pretty interesting but this is what I wanted to see and let me know what other videos you would guys would like me to see do because I'm also in the works with doing a Kawhi Leonard what if scenario this is the final roster of the team I'm also in the works of doing a Kawhi Leonard what if scenario what if he was drafted by the Jazz so if you guys want to see that it's going to come in the foreseeable future because I'm still mapping out this scenario and then I'll be able to get the clips and piece together this video so thanks for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe because I have more videos like this coming and let me know what other videos like this you would like me to see and then I'll be seeing you guys next time tune in for the what if in the foreseeable future